as we all know by now, the real main villain of Inanimate Insanity, as well as the whole, was none other than Steve Cobbs, once just a mockery of the original famous Apple owner, turned into the show's main overarching tyrannical antagonist that oddly mirrors real-life billionaire company owners with their exploitive, greedy acts. So how was he exactly defined as a villain? And what exact features made me scared of him if ever he was a real being? Here's a quick rundown on how he had dominated any other antagonist of this series, possibly. Not much was known about Steve Cobbs, but he did grow up creating the first Meeple computer in his parents' garage, before eventually creating one of the most huge companies of its time, Meeple Incorporated. But it wasn't until Cobb's products had started losing popularity, resulting in Cobb's growing upset and searching for improvement, therefore creating the sentient B-phones known to us. Steve Cobb presented himself as a brash and arrogant yet eccentric businessman with a large ego. Eventually, Steve revealed himself to be cruel and smug with other people, showing to care for nothing but himself, and treating his own creations lesser than if they don't meet up to his expectations. But he still managed to secure his position, and once they did, their actions only grew more alarming. Cobb sent three Mii phones to attack the Light Shimmer's planet that he discovered, extracting three infant eggs and leaving the planet ruined. Two Mii phones were destroyed, and Mii Phone 3GS barely escaped, critically damaged with one egg. Furious, Cobbs locked the broken MiPhone 3GS in a closet and used the egg to create MiPhone 4. He was seen as a father figure from MiPhone 4, but acted more so abusive and traumatizing to him, only really caring if he's doing his tasks and so. Don't speak up at me like that! Sorry. Listen, you're improving. So let's keep it that way. Okay? He also seems to dislike Mifon's idea for his own object show when first discussed, though this prompted him to build Adam as a puppet to act as Mifon's boss for the show, manipulating him for his own apparent entertainment gain. He has also sent multiple other Mifon's to potentially remove Mifon from this show too. Cobbs also sent Mifon X onto the game in order to exterminate the losing contestants. He tricked Toilet by using the Adam robot to trick him into piloting Mifon to eradicate the contestants. And did I forget to mention that he made the finalists of AI2 kill each other purely for his entertainment as their final challenge? Sounds rather sadistic, in it? After the deletion of the island and everyone else, Cobbs, defeated and annoyed, walked Mifon 4 back to Meeple. After an unsuccessful pouch of the Prime Shimmer leader, Cobbs aggressively degrades Meeple and eventually chooses to kill him off. After all your rebellion, your years of insolence, all you had to do was stay quiet and let it happen. Even after everything, I'd have let you live! But no! You just had to disobey me one last time! Hope it was worth it! Because now I'm going to kill you in the most painful way I can. And honestly, I've wanted to do this a long, long time. So thanks for letting me have no regrets. It led to an intense fight between the two that left Mifon for screen damaged. Beepad, Bo, and Do joined him to fight him off too. Meepad sacrificed himself to save Mifon from Cobb's attack. And once the contestants escaped with the Shimmer Egg, Suitcase tricked Cobb's by giving him a grenade instead of the egg, which explodes and predictably kills him. Still, even in their defeat, Cobb's has done multiple atrocities such as genocide, attempted regicide, war crimes, terrorism, mass property destruction, child abuse, psychological abuse, corruption, theft, mass kidnapping, enslavement, assault and battery, mutilation, coercion and intimidation, and stalking. 
personally Cubs was a pretty scary character but amazingly created in deep analysis and I'm a sucker for realistic villains for the given writer's care. Having clearly done multiple trauma inducing and layered acts were the plot thickening to the show that kickstarted most of its events off. It's not hard to describe this unforeseen antagonist once considered as a joke turned to a tyrannical plot point of the whole series to be upright manipulative, abusive, and ruthless. One thing is certain, their story could serve as a warning. A warning of how dangerous it can be when greediness and tyranny latches on to you.